Hi, everybody. Sure. Hope you've had a great Tuesday. We've seen a little bit better coverage of rainfall, mainly across the Southern Valley, which we desperately need that moisture closer to Chattanooga. Listen, over the last uh, 30 days or so, Chattanooga has received less than an inch of rain, while some of you have received a lot more than that. I shouldn't say not over the last uh, 30 days, over the last seven days. Chattanooga has received uh, less than an inch of rain. So, so far over the last uh, 12 hours, Chattanooga has picked up 1,400s, Saudi Daisy 4,200s, and 7,100s in Cleveland. We've had those evening rain showers slowly working their way from southwest to northeast, and that's really going to be the story as the showers slowly wind down. So we may deal with a few scattered showers, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder through the evening hours. Other than that, temperature's not bad. We're still going to be in the upper 70s by 8 o'clock here tonight. Overnight tonight, uh, again, those showers will slowly wind down as we get closer to the sunrise hour. But like the last couple of nights, can't rule out a couple of stray passing light showers through the overnight hours. Not expecting a whole lot. So it should be relatively dry as we get into our Wednesday morning. Maybe a little bit of patchy, dense fog in some areas, but that should be about the extent of it. Morning low temperatures dip down into the 60s and 70s, so it's going to be another mild and muggy start to our uh, Wednesday. Through the day on Wednesday. We're still hanging on to those disturbances riding through the atmosphere from southwest to northeast. So for the first part of the day, we're likely to stay on the drier side. The second part of the day, there comes some scattered showers and thunderstorms, and that's the story. That's the, the pattern that we are on. The, we are, we're kind of in a stuck weather pattern. We were that way at the beginning of the month with extremely hot uh, and dry weather conditions. Now we've transitioned to a little bit of a cooler in wetter weather pattern. So we'll start to see those showers and thunderstorms pile up. If you've not received a whole lot of rainfall over the last few days, hopefully you get in on some of this activity before the week is over. High temperatures will be in the 70s and low 80s. So we're going to be trending about five, six, seven degrees below average. Still though, a little bit of a heat index value mainly across the Southern Valley because we'll have high dew points. And so that's going to make it feel just a little bit hotter. Wednesday evening, we'll be right around 80 by 6, dropping down into the mid-70s by 10 o'clock, so a little bit of a cooler day ahead of us. Now, as we get through the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday time frame, as I mentioned, we've got uh, a, a wave of energy, a wave of moisture swinging its way on through. High pressure is anchored across Bermuda, low pressure across the Great Lakes. That's bringing in a southwesterly flow around the area, and we'll take away the, the arrows because look at these disturbances. This is just a line of energy moving its way from southwest to northeast across the area. Cold front swings its way into the area Thursday into Friday. That should start to shut down some of that precipitation as mid-level high pressure starts to build its way on in. Kind of depending on where that sets up depends on where we get this energy. Do we switch from a southwesterly to northeasterly flow to a northwesterly southeasterly flow as we get into our Saturday and Sunday, bringing us a little bit more energy? It's possible, but we've kind of taken those rain chances down a little bit as we get into the weekend. They'll be uh, staying on the elevated side as we get into our Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then a little bit less coverage of rainfall Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday time frame. And remember, percentages of rainfall does not tell you the whole story. We could have 100% chance of rain, and as long as everybody gets 100% chance of rain, or everybody gets rain, that qualifies as 100% chance, right? So it doesn't tell you timing, duration, intensity, or rainfall totals. Let's talk about rainfall totals here for a second because as we wrap up the week and head into the weekend, we're still looking at the possibility of, generally speaking, about an inch of rain. Some areas will get more. Some may get a little bit less. Humidity stays on the elevated side. Dew points stay in the 70s. A little dip in those temperatures behind the cold front on Saturday. Dew point temperatures anyways. And, well, when we look at the high temperatures, we're going to stay on the cooler side of Wednesday, Thursday, thanks to cloud coverage and rain. Then we'll start to see that ridge of high pressure build on in, so temperatures come back to those seasonal averages. Average high for this time of year, by the way, is 88, which is good news to pass along because if you're longing for the fall months, we're on the downhill slide toward fall. We're already past the hottest, on average, part of the summer, which our average high temperature is 89. Uh, now we're down to 88. Heat index values, though, will push in the mid to upper 90s as we get into the weekend and next week. And that may be the trend as we get into the first week of August. We know July and August can be extremely hot months. And, well, the we Climate Prediction Center is predicting the possibility of above average weather as we get into the first week of August. So we'll keep you posted on that. Again, always stay on top of the latest weather forecast. Download the East Tennessee Weather app. It's 100% free. Just go to the App Store and search East TN Weather, all one word. It's everything you need to know for weather right here in East Tennessee. As we head off to break, here's a few views from your eyes. Thanks for uploading those through the East Tennessee Weather app under Witcher's Pictures. Have a great night.